Lying flat in China, sick of the rat race. There's a growing movement in China, which only emerged in April 2021, where some young people are choosing to opt out of the 996 working hour system. That's where in some companies, employees are expected to work from 9am to 9pm, six days a week. More and more people are seeing this system as an endless, self-defeating and pointless pursuit. It's an exhausting, repetitive lifestyle that leaves no time for relaxation or enjoyment. There's always news of young workers dying from suspected overwork. Of course, the companies deny it. It's no wonder young people are opting out and joining the so-called lying flat movement or tangping. It's almost a social protest, a rejection of societal pressures to overwork. Here are some garlic chives that I grow in my garden. Chinese netizens often liken themselves to garlic chives, that is, people whose working existence has helped fuel China's economic revolution, whilst predatory rent seekers with connections to the political elite harvest the fruits of their labour. They're a growing silent majority disillusioned by the officially endorsed Chinese dream that encourages a life of hard work and sacrifice with no actual life satisfaction to show for it. It has spawned the catchphrase, a chive lying flat is difficult to reap. Hence the lying flat movement. In a now suspended Twitter account, a young Chinese woman can be seen in a TikTok video saying, Property prices keep surging. In response, I lie down flat. Life keeps repeating itself through a 996 working hour system. I am better suited to foot dragging. A man replies, Lying flat is a dead end. The woman again replies, If you don't lie down flat, you will die suddenly during work. If you don't lie down quick enough, you will become garlic chives to be harvested by capital. If you lie down flat enough, you will win back your life. Account suspended. Of course, the powers that be don't like the idea of a generation of workers lying down flat. The government wants a young generation of patriotic and productive workers. President Xi Jinping said in a widely circulated video clip, For the majority, there's no differentiation of lowliness or nobleness of one's job. As long as you're needed by society, as long as you're respected and earn a decent pay, that is a good job. The Communist Party has stated that, Tangping is a threat to stability. What do you think? Is lying flat a bad thing? Should young Chinese workers just accept that they have to work hard at the expense of their physical and mental health? Are other countries following suit and opting out of the rat race? Let me know your thoughts below.